Hello kids. Welcome to Baby Boss. So today let's learn about the animals that look similar but are actually different from each other. So before watching the video don't forget to press the subscribe button. So let's see. What's the first animal? It's a cheetah and a leopard. As you can see in the left side, the cheetah have spots that are clear, single and black. Whereas the leopard, they have rosettes. The rosettes means small irregular shaped spots that group to form rosettes. In this picture, you can see the difference between the skin clearly. Cheetah with the spots and the leopard with the rosettes. And as you know, cheetahs are the fastest animals. They are faster than the leopards. The next picture is crocodile and alligator. The crocodile's front ends are more pointed and V-shaped, whereas the alligators have U-shaped snouts. The crocodiles live in the salt water, whereas alligators in the fresh water. So, fox and the wolf. Let's see. Fox is smaller compared to the wolf. The fox can max weigh up to 20 pounds, whereas the wolf it can grow up to 100 pounds. And as you can see in the picture, the fox ears are more pointed compared to the wolf. And this is the hedgehog and the porcupine. The hedgehog is small and its small tail is around 2 inches. Whereas the porcupines are big and the tail can be up to 8 to 10 inches. The hedgehogs are carnivores whereas porcupines are herbivores. This is the goat and the sheep. The goat hair is like a fur, it's a hair. Whereas the sheep, it has wool. And the goat's tail, generally it points up. Whereas the sheep tail hangs down. You can see in this picture, the goat's tail is pointing up and the sheep hanging down. The goats generally are browsers, they eat leaves, twigs, whereas the sheep are grazers, they eat short plants close to the ground. So the next animal is mule and the donkey. The mule is a hybrid animal, they are the offspring of female horse and male donkey. And also the mules are big and they have a long ears compared to the donkeys as you can see in this picture. So the next one is duck and the geese. Generally the ducks are smaller compared to the geese. The geese have long neck and long legs compared to the ducks. As you can see in this picture the goose having the long necks. So the next one, frog and the toad. Frogs have long legs and the smooth skin, whereas the toads, they have shorter legs and have thick skin. Next one, tortoise and turtles. Tortoise have more rounded shells and they spend most of their time on land, whereas the turtle they have a thinner and water dynamic shells and they are more adapted to the life spent in water. The next one is seal and sea lion. The seals lack visible ear flops whereas the sea lions have visible ear flops and the seals have small flippers and they wriggle on their bellies on the land whereas the sea lions they can walk on land using their large flippers. And the next one is octopus and squid. Octopus are generally they have round head and the mantle along with eight arms. Whereas the squid, their arms are endowed with hooks. And the next one is puffins and penguins. The puffins are much lighter and they can fly. Whereas the penguins have chubby bodies and razor wings. And they can't fly. And 
in the next animals are dolphin and porpoise. Dolphins have prominent elongated beak and cone shaped teeth whereas the porpoise they have smaller mouth like and they have spade shaped teeth. So kids I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.